Hi classmates and welcome back to your English classroom. Now in today's class we're going to be looking at how we can increase the speed at which you learn the English language. We're going to be looking at those four areas including speaking, listening, reading and writing and how you can really strengthen in them. But before we get started I want you to hit that subscribe button and help us get to a thousand subscribers. Come on you know what to do. We've also got a WhatsApp group where we're teaching students all the time on how to increase their English fluency and how to increase their understanding of the English language. So if you're interested, say add me in the comment section. All right, now the first point I have for you is immersion, and that is to surround yourself in the English language completely, absolutely. And the first point I would say is listen to English. So listen to the television, the radio, Anything where you can use to learn English, listen to it. And then slowly you will start to think in English. Now when I say think in English, I actually mean the people, the culture, what is the history of English, how can you understand it? And then this will help you to start speaking in English because you need to understand how the people are and then you'll be able to actually speak. Now reading and writing is definitely in there, but you really want a combination of all of them listening, speaking, thinking, reading and writing. Okay, now this is important. What is important for you? Is it going to be fluency or is it going to be accuracy? Now accuracy is more focused on grammar and for those students who are taking examinations and tests then they focus on accuracy. But then you also have fluency which is more of a fun way of learning the language. You make mistakes, you get up again, you make mistakes, you get up again, and you start to learn how to speak more naturally with the English speaking people. And this will help you to raise your level of English language, fluency, speaking, grammar, reading, and writing. Okay, now I've got an interesting graph for you here, which actually shows that if you learn around 3,000 words, which is made up of the English language, then you've pretty much covered 98% of the language. And that's a great start, so get looking in those dictionaries and get looking at those words. You also need to be very creative. And when I say creative, I mean you need to throw yourself in the English language C. If you learn 10 nouns, 10 verbs and 10 adjectives, then you're most definitely likely to come up with a thousand phrases. And this will really jumpstart your English speaking. Okay. So the next point I'm going to be focusing on is the most important, and that is connecting with a native speaker. You really have to get in there, find someone who's going to help you speak, they'll correct you, they'll learn with you, and they'll become your friend. And then slowly and slowly, you're going to really start to speak like them. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.